go to record and now we're recording happy tuesday everybody it's the best and most healthiest day of the week it's our tuesday health huddle so today uh, we're going to be covering a few different things um but today will be mostly about um setting goals and tips for doing that and some ideas behind it as well as our health games uh the health games is something that uh, we do uh, at take shape for life uh, periodically throughout the year. It's a way to join in in another form of community, push ourselves, raise ourselves up. And this is a huddle to kind of get ready for it as they do kick off next week. So um, we're going to be talking about gearing up, setting goals for new heights. Because, you know, health is a conscious decision. And the one thing that, you know, my dad is a very wise man, but he's also a simple man. And he said to me that health is like the laundry. Well, actually, technically, well, he has said it to me, but he technically said it to 3,000 people at our national convention. Um, that health is like the laundry. It's never done. There's always a new height. There's always something new to achieve. And the second you think you're good, you, can, you can't go, you can't stand still in your health. You're either moving forward or you're going backwards, you know, and you don't have to be moving a thousand miles an hour. Uh, sometimes it's one step at a time. So this is why we do it because it, one, our community and everything and our habits and health system is for everyone. So this is a challenge that everyone can join in. So if you have family, friends, uh, we want you uh, to invite them, whether they're on our program or not, whether you're utilizing different parts of our program, the education portion is for everyone. And we just want everyone, because our goal is to get America healthy. We want everyone to have the opportunity to join in our community and learn uh, the different things that we teach people to help them drastically change their health and make a long-term approach to health. So um, pushing ourselves to new heights. Um, it starts this September 7th. So if you haven't joined in yet, um, please do or connect with your health coach, find out more information if it's a good fit. And I can encourage you that it is a good fit. Everything outside of your comfort zone generally is a good thing. And I think April, you said it this morning on a call we did, you know, you were way outside your comfort zone on a lot of things this last month and it didn't kill you and you really enjoyed it. So there's another tip. Push yourself outside of comfort zone. Try new things. Uh, this thing called life is uh, meant to be experienced. So we're going to be talking about this. And another benefit of the games or anything, so many people are just getting into routine in, in, um, in September. Summer can usually throw us off track. Uh, there's different things during the year. I mean, we haven't even got into it. The holidays are coming up in a couple months. So there's multiple things. Life doesn't just kind of go like this. It kind of goes like this. And it's how you can learn to manage and build the habits and stay connected to community and come back to things that push you into routine, push you to move further are the things that help you most. So um, a couple things that I wanted to cover tonight is one, setting goals uh, for these six weeks that you're going to join us on or in general. Um, and one thing that I want to encourage everyone here is as they're pushing themselves to new heights, ask yourself, you know, what are the habits on these new heights that I'm pushing myself to? that are gonna help me sustain long-term. Like, for instance, I'll give you some of my goals for this six-week challenge. I don't really have much weight to lose. This darn healthy program, you know, I lost the weight six years ago and I haven't put any, I haven't found any of it yet. So um, mine are to get into weekly or a morning routine of uh, reading the Bible because I'm on that, but I wanna be more diligent. Um, working out every single day. I want to be on point with my vitamins daily because I always forget to do that. I want to make sure my plan is dialed in and I want to make sure I, I think I already says work out every single day. Like that's, that's my goal for this challenge. And if I can, that's what I plan on doing and building that habit. So that is my routine. And so that's what we want to do through this is, you know, you can't stop a bad habit. You can only replace it with a good one. So um, encouraging yourself to whatever is important to you and what you want to take to the next level over these next little bit. Um, and I like this one because we're practicing something each day. You know, we're doing something in the short term that's good for our health, but we're also turning it into something long term that's good for our health. So as we kind of get started here, again, it starts in September, which will take us all the way through, uh, almost uh, all the way through October for the games, um, really setting us up for the holiday season. It's another benefit of, of, uh, of this challenge and this games. Um, is, and to build habits. So these are the things that I encourage you to do. Write down a goal. And here's another tip. Tell other people. Because when you tell other people, it starts to become something that you own and that you're really going to do. Like, for instance, I just told you guys all my goals. So you guys are going to ask me how I'm doing. It's, it's, uh, it's a good thing. So I just became more accountable to uh, people that lift me up. I did write them down. I'm actually looking at them right now. It looks, stares me in the face every day when I'm at my computer. Um, put reminders in your phone. Um, and plan to see them often. So like if you have a daily reminder, maybe the home screen on your phone, if you want to write yourself a, um, 
a picture on a, a, or a, a note on your mirror, something you see often. Like if you drive to work every single day, you know, something when you go down to the, the kitchen in the morning, something to remind you of what you're doing. Because I can tell you the one thing that happens is life gets busy and there's always a million things going on. So the more you can um, put reminders in, the more you'll stay focused, the more those things that you're staying focused on become habit. Um, plug into support. You guys are already doing that. So congrats tonight. We're going to keep these going through uh, the games and we'll keep them going forever. That's what the whole point of this is. Um, and then um, I would encourage you another thing, set your home screen to the games. If you join in on this, set your Facebook reminders, your top setting to uh, the Facebook support group. I'm imagining most of you guys are in a Facebook support page um, for this community. Set those reminders in there so that you have the opportunity to dive into them more. So those are just some tips uh, that I have for the games. Um, you know, it's always good. And I just like that the games are there uh, generally from time to time because it's another reason to ask yourself, hmm, what can, I, what can I step up? And the more often you can ask yourself that, and the whole thing about our program, sometimes it may be weight, sometimes it may be routine, sometimes it may be healthy habits, you know, like another one for me that I didn't write down and glad that we're going over this is I'm going to make sure that I and got it in my schedule to do my shopping, my, my grocery shopping on Sunday. You know, I have most of my meals taken care of. They come to me on the seventh of every month, um, stocking my house with healthy meals. But, you know, we still have the, you know, the, the lean and greens that we eat. So we're going to get really into the routine of making sure I don't miss a Sunday, uh, a Sunday shopping. So if you keep good food in your fridge, you will eat good food. So setting up your environment for success is great too. So as we finish tonight, I thought we just, I mean, cause we like to keep these short and sweet uh, as well as get some information out and as well as welcome and congratulate everyone who's already joined in and started writing down goals or at least joined in and is starting to think about what they want to do. Maybe some other things were jogging loose tonight that you want to accomplish. But I want to ask you for this week, or what are some things that you want to accomplish in these next six weeks as we come out of summer, as we go in, into the holiday season that you want to accomplish, but, and also you want to remain consistent in. So with that, I thought I'd open it up to the crew here and just ask, what are some things that you're wanting to improve on? Or what are some things in the past that you have done that have really boasted a lot of success for you that you want to share with others? So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and we'll just spend the last, you know, five, six, seven minutes just sharing different tips that people have had. So anyone want to share some specific goals or things that they have done to set them up for success um, in the past or are planning on doing over the next little bit? Let people unmute themselves. Who's going to go first? I'll go, Brad. There you go. I knew you'd jump in here. I'll mute myself because I'm getting some feedback. Go for it. So for me to kind of reboot my success from um, just the summer, not that I totally went off my health journey, obviously, but I just um, traveled a lot more than usual. So for me to make sure that my success was good was I just sat with my husband and I said, okay, September 1st, we need to refocus um, so that I wasn't doing it alone, but I had his support and he knew what I was doing and what my goal was. So I just made sure to build that here at home. Sorry, I had to unmute myself. I love that. And that's just seriously like why it, it's so perfect because yes, summertime traveling, you guys are out having fun, you know, staying with healthy routines, but not letting those, uh, those things that happen when we're out of our normal routine creep in. So you're reaffirming, um, getting back into it. I love it. Who else has something that they want to share that they've done in the past or are wanting to do and have found successful or planning on doing? I'll go, Brad. Yeah, go for it. Um, Bruce and I got to a great weight and he dropped 80 pounds. I think you know about that. Yep. <clears throat> he's out there telling his story as he's teaching around the nation. So I'm thinking this is great. But then he got kind of in, settled in and kind of creeped in a few little bad habits since we've been back through the summertime. And he put about 20 of those on and he was not happy. So we're back into making sure we're on the five and one doing it together. Um, and I'm trying to get us both in a good workout routine. So when he does go on the road, he sticks to his working out habit and that way I can stay with my working out habit here. So that's kind of what we're focused on. I love it. You still, you still throwing on those workout clothes in the morning and starting your day? Yes. Yes. And I'll tell you, it makes a big difference. Yep. I feel so much better after going for a three mile walk. And then I, I do a, I have a little 10 minute video that works different parts of the body. That's been a, that's been a real good one. 
I love it because in that slide that I show, we have triggers and routine that lead to other routines. So your new one is wake up, put on workout clothes, work out. And now you probably don't even need to think about it. It's in your day and now you're doing it. So I love it. And that's just a really great example, guys. You know, we all want to do well with our health, but we have to also realize that we have to be realistic a lot of the time. One, not beat ourselves up, but also remember that it's not about how good, perfect you are at one time. It's how often you can stay consistent and stay and recalibrate yourself. So let's see here. Let's share. We're, we did really good on time tonight. Let's see who wants to share one more here. Who wants to come off and share? Hey, Brad, can I share? Yes, Dan, of course oh, you can. What is up? So I, I heard from... Um, from Abby and also from Elizabeth that uh, they they worked with their spouse or their significant other and so a theme with this is to grab a partner um, and and to to do do with your partner so for for Chelsea and I we, we kind of for me it's more of a routine thing these next six weeks as well is, is going to be um, setting in a, a strong routine waking up early um, having that routine where I, I get exercise I study uh, my scriptures and study um, some personal study and getting in that routine again. And then, um, but I love how everybody had that same theme of, of, of having a partner and I have to put a plug in. I know we're, we're, most of us are all joining the games, but if you're thinking about it, if you're somebody who's like, I don't know, maybe not this time, I would just encourage you to use that. If you don't have somebody immediately to partner up with, then utilize that as well as another, um, a way to stay connected with somebody that that's setting the goals just like we have here and uh, I'm excited I'm excited for the game because it is it creates that routine creates that habit it's always on the mind it kind of allows you to be able to be touched every day um, and think about these things that we're setting every single day and creating that habit that way so I'm excited awesome I love it I think that's a good way to end it tonight grabbing oh uh, Brianna wants to, to say something Did you raise your hand you can do you need me to, um, yes. oh, you unmuted yourself, go for it. I just have one quick thing, especially for the school year, is to plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead. Because if you have teenagers and you're traveling and you're doing sports and you're going out of town and it's a Friday night football game and you have to leave at three in the afternoon, what are you doing for dinner? Are you, are you going through McDonald's on your way? Are you prepared? What are you doing? Because you have to, be conscientious of that because if you don't know, it's so much easier to just go through those drive throughs throw you all off track, and all of your consistent effort will be like, ah, I forgot that I was going to need to eat <laughs> at six o'clock. <laughs> so <laughs> there's my tip plan ahead, especially for those weekend football games. I love it. Those weekend football games, football season is kicking off. There's another tip. How are you going to navigate football season if you're going to be around a lot of football fans? So I like that tip because it actually leads me to a couple different things as we can kind of wrap up here and we're learning up some good tips is one, always have a backup plan. Literally my vehicles, my backpack. I mean, hmm, let's see here. Like, can I ha find a healthy snack? Oh, here's one. That's so weird. They're right there around me at all times. So I don't get caught um, shorthanded. So that's the backup that we want to have with you. And when you're eating healthy and you're eating the way you're supposed to, if you get caught up in this busy thing called life, what happens is your blood sugar gets low. And let me tell you, low, low, low blood sugar is kind of like being insane for a little bit. You're not yourself. So what happens is, is you want to practice those things, recognize, well, low blood sugar, prepared, let me reach for, let me, let me change those habits. Because when you have a stressful week, and I know we all have stressful things going on, or our blood sugar is low, or we have a bad day. Those are the things that go on in our body that actually cause us to crave different things um, of those of those nature. So surround yourself with healthy habits, and that's actually a really good one, Brown. I love that one because if you could also make a goal this 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 next games on top of everything else, how am I upping my game to basically you know have a, a backup plan at all different times when things go awry? Because we all have a plan when things are perfect. Last time I checked, life wasn't really working out that way. So um, great tips. Um, look forward to seeing you guys in the game. And my one call to action this week is not only think about what you want to do, but let's post what we want to accomplish in the games or in our Facebook groups or tell your health coach. That would be the biggest thing I would really encourage you guys to do. So proud of you guys for joining in. Um, that's pretty much what we got for you this week is 
redoing goals all the time. And this is the number one thing I like to tell people and I tell myself constantly, is you can have any goal you want, as long as you're honest with yourself. No, no, no ignoring current reality. Current reality is probably the best thing you can do. So I'm gonna encourage you guys to push yourself, step it up, reach new heights, and let's build lasting habits over these next six weeks. So thank you all that shared, great tips, and I love that we get to all learn from each other. So partner up and tell people what you're gonna be accomplishing over these next six weeks. That's the takeaway from today. You guys all have a great night. Night, Brad, thank you. Thank you guys, everybody, it was awesome. Thanks, Brad.